So, good morning, Bruno. How are you? How are you? Very well, thank you. What about you, Jon Christian? I'm very good. I'm very good. So, we're here to talk about this Luke certificate and find out a bit more about what it is and try to explain to our viewers and to our followers what does this mean for, for Nordic Iron Man. So, I'll just jump straight into the first question. Um, can you try to explain to me and to our viewers what this Light UAS Operator Certificate, or the Luke as it's called, uh, what it is and uh, what this certificate can do? Okay, the LUC certificate has been issued by the Norwegian Civil Aviation Authority under the new EASA, which is a European uh, Airspace Safety Agency, allowing us to be recognized as a drone operator. So this is like similar to what you see as an AOC for a uh, normal airline. This allows Nordic Man to be recognized as a safe operator. Okay, thank you. Uh, so, do you, can you explain to us what's the main difference between the new system with the Luke implemented now and how it was before? Yes, uh, the previous certificate held by Nordic Man was issued again by the Norwegian Civil Aviation Authority. It was RO3, which means we were able to operate beyond visual line of sight, but it was limited to Norway under Norwegian regulation. The new certificate allows us to operate also beyond visual line of sight for the complete fleet and in all EASA member countries, which are mostly European countries. So the difference is we not only are allowed to operate in Norway, we're allowed to operate in all European countries and we follow the European regulation, which is uniform across all countries in Europe. So the certificate we have now is recognized in every country without any need to ask for a recognition. Okay, so let's talk a bit about the future of the drone regulations in Europe. You say this is now it's a uniform European regulation. So how big of a step is the implementation like the certificate uh, in for the future of uh, of uh, European drone industry? Before talking about the future, let's look in the past. Uh, manned aviation regulation exists has been existing for 75 years, uh, directed by the ICAO, the International Civil Aviation Organization. Drone regulation is pretty new compared to that. So it's a very big step to have uniform regulation across European countries, and it will also help all operators to increase the safety of the operation, and also for customers to understand who are the real operators. And we're very happy to be one of them, first one in Norway, and one of the few ones in Europe who have a look at this time. Thank you very much, Bruno, for being with us and explaining a bit about the new Luke, and we look forward to seeing what the future holds. Looking forward to some great adventures.